In this video, a step-by-step -step guide with regards to how to use ZK Sync, how to interact with a protocol and many projects that are built on ZK Sync. I'm also going to be showing you how to do this on a mainnet and briefly talk about the testnet so that you can interact with the protocol without spending any of your funds. Now, there is a potential rumor token with regards to the ZK Sync token. In fact, they had confirmed that they want to be community owned and they recently, you know, raised about $458 million to continue building zk sync and majority of these tokens obviously are going to be distributed towards the community if they want to be community owned now the question is will they be an airdrop and if they were going to be an airdrop or if there is going to be an airdrop is the snapshot already in we're not sure what i can tell you is that looking at the ecosystem here on zk sync not many projects are actually live with regards to the main net and very, very few projects are actually live on the mainnet. But in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use mainnet. And obviously we're gonna be looking at some of these projects. One of them is ZigZag Exchange, because I believe that's one of the most popular projects that is live on ZK Sync running on mainnet. We're also gonna be interacting with other projects such as you know Orbiter here, which is basically bridging from one asset to another. So let's dive right into the video here with regards to everything you need to do. I have prepared this document uh, that sort of like explain what is ZK Sync and the problem that they're trying to solve and the technology that they're using, which is ZK Rollup. And I have links here with regards to all the steps that you need in order for you to interact with the blockchain and potentially qualify for the airdrop. So the first thing we wanna do is to bridge tokens. So basically when we're bridging tokens, we were moving funds from one blockchain to another or you can actually use this bridge here on zk sync you can just come here on the wallet and click top up and then you can choose which platform you want to use you can see orbiter is already here and you can also see bybit is here if you guys know that we're trading on bybit whenever we're trading perpetual futures contracts you can actually withdraw directly from bybit using zk sync and if you use the link in the description of this video you can get up to thirty thousand dollars in welcome bonuses on bybit but let's come right back here on orbiter because that's what we want to be using here so i'm going to be moving funds from arbitrum and I want to move them to ZK Sync. You can actually choose other protocols. Uh, we're going to be using Starnet in the future, and I'm going to be making a separate video on that because I strongly believe there's going to be an ad drop there. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on all post notifications. So for now, we're going to select ZK Sync, and you can actually go ahead and input the amount of money that you want to bridge over to ZK Sync. In this case, I'm going to do 0.01, and I'll send those funds over to ZK Sync. And then I'll just go ahead and confirm everything here. You can see the transaction fees here. We're actually not paying that much, $0.03, which is very good compared to this option here. You can see here, if you're bridging, you will pay about 3.5% on gas fees, but obviously it's cheaper if you're using Bybit. But you can see here, the fee more or less is about $2 using these bridges. So this one works out to be cheaper. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the funds to arrive on ZK Sync. It shouldn't take that long. As you can see here, everything is now sorted. Uh, the next step is to use the ZigZag Exchange. Again, you'll find this link in the description of this video, or you can find ZigZag here on the ecosystem. So the first thing you want to do here is to make sure that you're running this on ZK Sync and connect your wallet. So the next thing is to come and select our trading pair and I'm going to select Ethereum and DAI. And in this case, I want to sell a little bit of ETH for DAI. So I'm going to select Ethereum there and just sell a portion of that. I think that works out to be about $5. I'll go ahead and sell this. You can see I'm selling this on a market order, which means it's going to be executed immediately. I'll go ahead and sign the transaction in can see the order is placed successfully over here. And you can see here, our order was successfully executed. So that's the first step. Let's go back to our document. Again, you just need to follow this step by step. The next thing, what we wanna do is to mint NFT. By the way, now if we come here and look at our history, you can see a few seconds ago, we just swiped a pair here on ZK Sync. Here we've got two transactions. So the next thing here is to mint an NFT. To mint an NFT, we need to first store our NFT. That can be a video or even a JPEG, but in this video, I'll just use a JPEG. So once you created your account on this website, the first thing you wanna do is to upload an image. So I'm gonna select upload a file and then just locate that file somewhere within my computer. And I'll basically just go ahead and upload it. Now you can see our file has been successfully uploaded, but what we're looking for is this code here. So just click here and copy this. 
So the next thing is to hover over on LEN here over ZK Sync. This is now on zksync.io. I'm gonna click on ZK Sync V1 wallet. I'll go ahead and connect my MetaMask and I want to click NFTs. Here we can see the, your overall positive balance. I want in this case to select NFTs and I want to go ahead and mint NFTs. You can see here, I've already minted some NFTs yesterday. Then what you have to do is to paste your CID. Again, your CID, you get it from here. You just copy this number here and come back and paste it over here. Then I'll authorize to mint the NFT. You have to obviously assign a transaction on your MetaMask. Then I'll click mint NFT. And just like that, we have minted our NFT on ZK Sync. I'll click OK. And if we come back to our history here, we can see we've got two NFTs. And here we can see that the blockchain is actually recording that we're actually doing some transaction on a blockchain. And if you look back, I've been using this for more than nine months now, about almost a year I've been using this on the mainnet. But obviously there are not really many projects that are building on the mainnet. So that's why, you know, I don't have so much history here when it comes to the project that I could be using on ZK Sync, but I'm very bullish. I think it's going to be a very, very good project. So the fourth step is to come to Gitcoin and maybe do some donations. So let's go ahead and look for projects that are building. Again, I'll make a separate video with regards to how to use this platform. And very important, you have to use your passport and verify yourself. And once you've done that, then you click on grant. So grants is basically you can look for projects that are looking for donation and donate to them, whether it's a dollar, whatever the case may be. And because of that, you may just be eligible for the airdrop. We saw that on the optimism airdrop, they were actually looking for such things. So I'm going to say view all grants. So it can actually work in your favor. Again, you don't have to be donating thousands of dollars here. Even a dollar should be enough. In this page, you can then explore all the sort of like projects that are building here that are looking for donations and you can see how much they have raised. And here I have a project that is already running on ZK Sync that is rather building on ZK Sync and I want to donate to this specific project. And you can see they've raised about 13,000 US dollars. Not so much. I'm going to give them a dollar of my money. And the next thing, what I'm going to do since I found the project, I'll add it to cut. Hovering over here, you can see I have now this project on cut. I can now click on add to checkout. Basically, this works the same as just buying on Amazon. So the next thing, what you want to do is to input the amount of money that you want to donate. In this case, I want to donate $1 and I'll go ahead. I'm ready to check out. Now, the most important thing once you've clicked, I'm ready to check out is to use ZK Sync on checkout, maybe because that can be the criteria. So let's go ahead and just proceed to checkout. From here, I need to connect my MetaMask and you can see that it's actually picking up my entire balance here. I'll go ahead and just complete the payment. And just like that, we are done with donations. We can look into the next step and and the next step is going to be trying to use the test net. So in this case, I'm not necessarily going to be showing you how to use the test net. However, I'll make a dedicated separate video with regards to how to do that. But the first thing you want to do is to click on faucet over here and request funds if you don't have funds on your test net already. The next thing you want to do is to tweet this with your address and basically funds will be then sent over to your address. Now, if I come to my wallet here, you will be able to see that this number may go up because that will mean that I've now received more funds since I've done the request. I'll make a separate video with regards to how to go about doing a test net because on a test net, we've got so many projects that are currently building. Now I'm going to be showing you which of these projects you can start using on a test net in order for you to qualify for not only the casing airdrop, but the airdrop of this project themselves. As you can see here, the status of some projects have confirmed that they will have an end drop, but that will be a different and separate video. So the next and I think final step is to click on this and actually try to see if we can have collections here. So I'm going to click on collect and you can see I don't have anything to collect. However, I can purchase this on a secondary market. I think this is similar to the Arbitrum Odyssey and those NFTs have now for some odd reason become valuable, but I will make a separate video again on Arbitrum. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on all post notifications. Let's click on collect on secondary market. Now, in this case, I'm just going to buy the cheapest sort of like NFT. Now I'm going to be purchasing this with optimism, which means we have to go back to our bridge. 
and bridge some funds over to optimism if you don't have funds already on optimism now everything is completed here which means we can come back here and actually buy this nft so i'll purchase the nft you can see here i have to switch network to optimism that's why we were bridging funds and making sure that we have funds on optimism i'm basically spending about 20 cents here on gas fees and overall price is one dollar 49 cents i'll go ahead and confirm that and you can see that our purchase was successful over here so yeah i think that's it for this video go ahead and click on the video coming up next because on that video i'm going to be showing you how to do the very same thing but now on a testnet which means that you don't have to be using funds or have funds available on your wallet so go ahead and click on the video coming up next but before you go ahead and click on the video coming up next make sure that you subscribe and turn on all post notifications so that you are alerted every time we publish a new video here on youtube now go ahead and click on the video coming up next and see how to do all this just on a testnet i'll see you there goodbye for now peace